bringing to you the most important news. The things that you care about, the things that are fun, the travels and adventures, the stories and songs. From here and from there, from the furthest side of everywhere. If she knows how to listen, and she knows how to hop, your fearless reporter with the ears that flop, right here on Rabbit Ears News, the Weekly Carrot. We'll return after these messages. Hey, have you heard about the Fabric Square? It is the most versatile fashion accessory since the birth of the fake eyelashes. What can you do with a Fabric Square? What can't you do? You can wear it like this, or like this, or like this, or like this. There's at least 13 ways to wear the fabric square, and it's cheap. That will be a relief for people who hate to spend money. But don't let children wear it, it's 18 plus only. Welcome back from that wonderful break with that ad there. Oh, thank you. And what do you think we're going to do for the rest of the show? Uh, well. <gasps> Perfect. There you Input go. from Magic. Magic's got the question. She's got the magical question. The magical question. Okay, what's today's question, Magic? Uh, it's from Ward. Ward. And Ward's question is, how does soap turn into bubbles? That's a really good question. Oh, wow. are you a scientist, Beth, by any chance? I actually know part of the process. Really? Tell me what you know. Um, well, there is a very specific set of chemicals that need to occur uh, when you're making soap, and some of those chemicals make the bubbles happen. But the process, I think, of making the bubbles with the soap is called saponification. Don't quote me on that. Don't quote Beth on that, but wow, that was more information than I could have ever possibly known about that subject. That's a very good word. So, so what is it? Saponif Saponification. Saponification. All right. What do we got next? Uh, next up, we have Galaxy Weather with Sydney and Truffles. I've been looking forward to this. Let's check it out. My name is Truffles. And I'm Sydney. I guess we're here to tell everybody about the weather all over the solar system. That's right, Sydney. So, we will get started with the closest planet to the sun. And, uh, what planet is that, Truffles? Well, it is Mercury. Ah, yeah, it's Mercury. It doesn't even have an atmosphere, does it? No, it doesn't have an atmosphere. So that means it doesn't have weather, like storm clouds, winds, or rain. And, because it's so close to the sun, the temperature can reach up to 427 degrees Celsius during the day, but at night time, it can go all the way down to minus 172 degrees Celsius. Wow! I know why, too! Because there's no atmosphere to trap the heat during the day! You are absolutely right, Sydney! Thank you, Truffles! I guess we'll see everybody next time on the Galaxy Weather! Bye, everybody! Bye! to stop on our trip yes I believe that maybe while well, we are crossing the beautiful country of the United States of America we could stop and see some of the most wondrous sights that there is to behold well what is this all about it just looks like half a house well here is the deal on my friend 
1980, Mount St. Helens erupted and covered the whole northwest of the United States with ash and soot. That's a big volcano, isn't it? Correct, my friend. And this house, it was just built, and it filled up halfway with mud and dirt and stuff and volcano stuff. Wow, that's terrible. Well, here is the thing, my friend. If that wasn't interesting enough, some people believe that the volcano erupting killed Bigfoot. Oh no! Oh my goodness! Well, I don't believe it, but uh, right beside this house they built a big statue to honor the, the giant uh, Bigfoot man. Wow! You know what he was probably doing out here? Oh, well, what was he out doing out here, my friend Pun Pun? Well, I think he was looking for two giant bananas. Two giant bananas? Why would he be looking for two giant bananas? Because he wanted a pair of slippers. Hey guys, my name is Finn. Today we're going to be saving this photo of this money to the computer. Then we're going to open it in Photoshop and make it way more cool. So, look for the bunny. We want to make it fit on the screen. So first what I want to do, I don't really like that arrow on it, so I'm going to outline it with the lasso tool. And now what I'm going to do, um, now what we're going to do, I'm just going to do this. And boom, now it's gone. Now what we're going to do, we're going to print it out, and then that's a little bit of cutting, then it should be done. Okay guys, now I just need to cut it. Finish the feet, now I'm on the left hand claws. I just need to do these claws, and then... I'm thinking about like cutting this and the arms so then they can like drop around. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Alright. I think I'm done cutting now. So now we can kind of walk. We can use this hand, but this hand barely even works. Um I think I don't think I need to do ears because they're all good. So this is the final result side by side. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Goodbye. Alrighty guys, so after watching Sydney and Truffles, Pun Pun and Dave, and hearing those super cool stories, we get to hear today's random fact. So in Italy, did you know that it's considered bad luck to lay bread upside down, either on a table or in a basket or in a grocery bag? Just don't do it. Okay, that's interesting. So you're gonna ride your bike home? Yeah. What about you, Beth? I'm gonna you're hop you're home. gonna hop home? Yeah. I'm gonna hop to it. Let's I'm go. I'm gonna hop to it. I'm gonna you know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my cab. Because I'm still a cabbie. I'm still a licensed cab driver. In New York. In New York. This is where we get a lot of this news actually, is by because I run into very interesting people in the cabs and uh, they tell me all sorts of really cool things. And so I help out. It's not all Beth people. Some of, some of it's this magic here. Some of it is even this guy right here, but it's mostly Beth. See you I next. am the host of the show. Actually. You are the star, okay. Have, have you ever thought about getting one of those like bike taxis or is it, it's a tight taxi, but it's like a bicycle? <gasps> then you could bike with us. That'd be cool. Let's That'd try it. Cool. Okay, see you next time, Beth. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.